Hello to you viewers of the House of Wyvern. For this video we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a quick brief history of the castle before we get started because I can't really fit it in the video. And I must apologise first and foremost due to I'm being full of cold and my voice isn't too great. You'll notice as we walk around the Queen of Dragons had a photo shoot so you will see her in different locations dotted around as I filmed. So let's get started. Ashby Castle, or Ashby de la Zouche Castle, or as some pronounce it, Zoch, was built in 1473 and completed in around 1483. This was built by William Lord Hastings, a favourite of Edward IV. Between the 1480s and 1648, the castle had many famous names visit, such as Henry VIII, Queen Anne, James I, and Charles I. Also, Mary, Queen of Scots, was imprisoned here after a plot was discovered against Elizabeth I. In 1642, the English Civil War broke out between Parliament and Charles I. The Hastings family joined the Royalist cause. By 1645, the war had turned against the Royalists, and Parliament had started to raid the town of Ashby. The Hastings family agreed to surrender the castle on good terms. However, in 1648, a fresh rebellion had broken out in Kent, and Parliament had concerns the castle would be put back to military use. Uh, the castle was ordered to be rendered unfit for military use by Parliament. Gunpowder charges were placed under the castle and the Great Tower and the Kitchen Tower. These were partially destroyed by the blast. This is one of the banqueting houses which was in the far corner of the garden which were used for feasts with a dedicated kitchen on the bottom floor. You can use the minimap on the bottom corner for reference of where you are on the ground. These are the sunken gardens, which could also have served as defensive earthworks. Here is one of the other former banqueting houses in the opposite parallel corner. This is the Great Tower. It is 75 feet or 23 meters tall. The ground floor had the basement and entrance with a portcullis. Other rooms included had a kitchen, parlor, great chamber and treasure chamber. I will be going to the top later in the video. As you can see the tower was split during destruction. These are the original wells. A second view of the Great Tower and details. This shot was taken inside the Great Chamber, which served as a private eating and living room. Note the fireplace and decorations.
and here is the chapel. Here I start to climb the Great Tower. This took about four to five minutes. Here's the view of the nearby church. Queen of Dragons between photo locations. Here I made friends with a dove halfway to the top. You'll notice some of the stone is bubbly in appearance. This is due to water damage. That bench was situated outside the door. You'll notice in castles and forts so much graffiti from over the centuries. In most cases we have noticed the older the writing the better the chiseling. And here we are, I'm not going to lie, I hate heights, I grip the edge like a madman. When I peer down, I had had dreams days before of dropping my phone over the edge.
tell you what, I did not like it up there. <laughs> it's way too bloody high. This is the main kitchen building. I could not enter due to renovation, unfortunately. And this is the former Great Hall and Fireplace. This passage goes under the castle. It was built during the Civil War to store ammunition and gunpowder. It leads to the kitchen building shown earlier, but it is locked due to maintenance. wanted to sing the Halo theme down here. And these are some musket ball marks on the walls. And I'll leave you with Queen of Dragons looking regal, as always. Her pictures will be on her Facebook uh, page which will be linked in the description below. Thank you for watching.